Alrighty guys, let's expand upon our vocabulary. First word. Consumed. Consumed. If you consumed something, what do you think that means? Especially based on this picture, what are they doing? They're eating it, right? So if you consume some food, that means that you ate some food. Alrighty, and here's our sentence. On our picnic, we consumed some of our favorite foods. And it really looks like some of their favorites are hot dogs. They consumed all of those hot dogs. Consumed. Our next word is descended. Descended. Now y'all might be familiar with um, a show called Descendants. And a descendant is someone born after. Um, so like you are the descendants of your parents and your grandparents. So you were born after or later. When you descend, you are lowering down to the ground. So this person's in a parachute and they're descending. If something descended, it moves downward. As the skydiver descended through the air, the open parachute looked like a beautiful rainbow. So airplanes descend, um, rain descends from the clouds. Um, what else descends? If you throw something up, it will descend or come back down. Word number three obliged. Look at him. He's being so helpful. Helping Daddy-O do the dishes. If you obliged, you did what you were asked or expected to do. So Dad must have asked his son, hey kiddo, come help me with the dishes. And the kiddo obliged. He said, all right, Daddy, let's do the dishes together and have a good old time. Maybe we can sing a song while we do the dishes. I like to sing while I do the dishes because otherwise it's boring. Or listen to a book. I have, I have audio books and I'll listen to books or podcasts while I do the dishes because otherwise I don't want to do them. Alrighty. Our sentence. When his father asked him to wash the dishes, Calvin obliged. So this must be Calvin here. He did what was asked of him. He obliged. And our last word for today is mundane. Oh my goodness, she looks like she is about to pass out. She's so tired. Maybe she's so tired because um, our presenter over here, he's not fun and exciting like Miss Rice. <laughs> he's boring and he has a monotone voice that goes like this. Maybe I should be mundane from now on. Someone who is mundane is ordinary and often dull. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> the guest speaker was so mundane that Rose nearly fell asleep during the presentation. So something that's mundane is like, oh, it's boring. It's every day. It's commonplace. It's not exciting. It's not new. It's just boring all the same. Mundane. <sighs> Let's review. Consumed. I consumed all the food. That means I ate it. Sorry, I'm yelling. I shouldn't yell. <laughs> descended. The parachute descended through the air, came down to the ground. Obliged. Calvin obliged when his dad asked him to do the dishes. He did what was asked of him. And mundane. The meeting was so boring and mundane that Rose nearly fell asleep. 